Hey, I'm Zoe from Mama Geek. Um, we've been sent the interactive track system Gravitrax to review and a couple of the extension, uh, extensions, expansion packs. So I'm going to just walk you through what we've got and then I'll put in some clips of us playing with it. All right, so we were sent the starter pack, which is this beast. And you get, for your money, I think you get so much. You get, yeah, you get over 100 components with this one, of loads of different types of components. And you get rails and vertical things and all sorts. So I will go through that in a minute. We were also sent, and I've just got the lids because I put it all in one. We were sent the catapult expansion. The magnetic cannon expansion someone stood on that box no respect in this house for my things and the expansion hammer so those are the three expansions we've been sent as well as the starter pack so i'll let you know what you get so these are the little instructions from the expansion packs and they just tell you how to put them together and a couple of examples of how to use them and also on the front is just what you get each one and then you get with the starter set you get this book and it's sort of full of lots of different examples of tracks to build and their different um, difficulties so you start with a really simple one and Lydia's actually made this one on her own, which for five years old is pretty good. And then they get more and more complicated. So like track I, I think might be the final one. Track I is the final one of the sort of regular tracks. And that's that one. And you can make that all with the starter kit. You don't have to buy any extra components to make a track that complicated, which I think is brilliant. And it's really good value for what you get which we've had a couple of those plastic marble ones and we've had some with like the fiddly um sort of wires the plastic wires that you have to clip and make sure they're parallel and the marble falls off all the time and this is just so much better james really likes marble ones he turns into a giant kid and he has claimed gravel tracks for his own and he is loving it so as well as the sort of regular tracks, you have these sort of puzzles or challenges in this book and half the book is made up of all these puzzles and the girls really, really love these. And it gets them thinking about heights and gravity and, you know, how, what you've got to do to make the marble roll the way you want it to. So this type with this symbol here, You've got to decide, you have all the components, so you know how many of these vertical pieces you need. And you have to figure out what how high each of these tiles goes to make the marble roll downwards. And then the second type of puzzle, you have the height, but the rails are missing in between the pieces. So, again, uh, come on. Again, it shows you all the pieces you need, but there's gaps in between the pieces, so it's hard to sort of put it together without that, so the girls have to figure it out. And they get really complicated. I mean, these are still the same sort of idea with the rails missing. And then the last type is they put question marks on some of the tiles so you don't know whether you need curves or straights but they have like a list of components so it narrows it down but still the girls absolutely love these and again they get really complicated and then the last thing in here is track designs that you can build that use three marbles and they have this piece at the end which I will find if James hadn't made a mess of the box. So these ones have this piece at the end, which apparently has some fucking carpet fluff attached. So let's try this again. This but these type have this piece at the end, which has a first, a second, and a third sort of 
placements on it so you can have races between the marbles and you make the traps and then you race the marbles and see which ones come first, second and third and on the backs of all these pages are the solutions as well so there's six different sort of races so that is brilliant because most marble ones you get like a picture or two of examples and you've got to figure it out but those have step by step instructions for the first half and then sort of the puzzle type things for the second so inside the box you also get this this is the instruction manual and you'll notice it's in German first not England English because Ravensburger is a German company and that's who's developed this so you have to actually go all the way to the middle of the book for English, which is really unusual, but I don't really care. So you have 18 different dis con uh. <laughs> you have 18 different construction elements with the Gravitrack system, with the starter set, and that does include one of the magnetic cannons as well. So that's the sort of front of the UK piece. And this is a construction element overview of everything you get in the starter set and this is brilliant you have base plates tracks small height tiles and large height tiles balls you get six different balls with the starter pack you have a launch pad um, 21 of the curves four of the basic tiles which you can put various different green elements in I'll show you that in a minute you have a landing um, tile that goes into one of the basics the finished tile which is this one you have three cross junctions uh, a three and one a two and one a couple of those the switch pieces one of the magnetic cannons um, a vortex a free fall a capture another capture a splash and two of the levels so you get so many pieces and then the last page just has a little bit of an explanation of what's in the construction plan booklet but obviously it's also a lot of fun to just build your own tracks so I'm gonna run through what you get so these are the base plates now gravel tracks is made by Ravensburger who obviously make really good jigsaws Gypsies, going to sleep now. And so these are made from the same sort of cardboard Ravensburger use in their jigsaws, which is really, really good quality. I love Ravensburger jigsaws, which if you read my blog, you will know. And they just snap together really, really securely. And you can see that they've got these green tiles and that sort of gives you a so you can line it up with the instructions if you want. It gives you sort of an idea of what goes where. Now everything in Gravitrax is hexagonal. So everything's got six sides, apart from obviously like the rails that go in between. So you have the hexagonal base and each thing that you do clips sort of slots in so you have the height tiles and they just sit in there and it stops them wriggling about or moving when the marble runs over them and it just makes everything super secure and gives a really good base to construct from so you have four of these and they go into a square or obviously you could make them into an l shape or a long thin one if you wanted to so it gives you that flexibility and you can get more as well. If you buy a expansion pack, you can grow your sort of Gravitrack system, or you could even get a second starter pack, which is what I have done for James for Christmas. So he can have twice as much fun. So you have those four base tiles. And then the... have a bunch of these rails and these are little plastic marble rails and they will run from one section of track to another and they just sit in they don't clip they rest in these little slots here which makes it really easy to put things together and to swap them around you don't have to clip and unclip things so there's no risk of anything snapping and it gives it a little bit of flexibility as well in how 
sort of difference in height between things and stuff you've got that little bit of sort of give in how you're putting it together so with the starter set you have 18 of these in various sizes and you get three different sizes you get the long one the small one and the medium one and this is like one hexagonal's worth two and three and then you also get six of the balls or I think some places call them the gravity series so you get a green one red blue and three silver ones and these are good um good weight metal balls they're like big ball bearings so you get six of those repeat starter sets you also get one of these magnetic cannons and these are really really clever they've just got a tiny magnet inside and that can jiggle back and forth so when one ball hits one side if you've got two balls this side one ball goes aside it shoots off so you get one of the magnetic cannons you get this piece which is your launch pad they call it so you can put three up to three balls in this you can do one two or three depending on what you want to do and they just slot in there there and there like that and there's little lips to keep them in and then when you want to go you just press on top and all the balls pop out like that and go all over my desk with a very loud bang and I don't know where the third one went, I'll find it. So this is our expansion pack magnetic cannon. So we've got two of those. With the starting, you get, with the starter set, you get four of these basic tiles. So we have three hollow ones and one solid ones, one of these. So these, you just slot some of these green pieces in. So this is the landing tile and it gives a place for the marbles to finish at the end and then you've got this one this is called the splash tile and that goes in so it winds up that goes in like that and what this one can do is you can put three magnets in and then drop another one down the middle and it pushes all three magnets out so they can like go off down different tracks you have this one which is the free fall and you just line it up like this and it goes in a ball goes in and it drops down the bottom so you could line you could use this one with this one so you have one ball go down fall down and three come out and then you also have a couple of these ones this is called the catcher so it's just got a sort of a ramped bit that you can drop a ball onto and it rolls off. A couple of those. And then you have two of the two-in-one tracks. And these are really clever. Because as well as being a tile that you can merge two tracks into one, you can also add the switch green sort of element. So you have a ball... <laughs> and you sort of use it the other way around so where two to one you'd go from two tracks going this way the switch way you have one track going this way and if you send two balls down it you send one ball this way and it flicks it so the second ball will go that way and that flicks it the other way so it sort of sends the odd balls the odd balls the odd balls one direction and the even balls the other direction so that's really neat so you have two of these with the starter pack so you get two of the y's and you get two of the switches so you can use them whichever way you want and then you get one vortex and this is got two entrances and then it swirls down into a hole and the marble just drops so that's all of the specials apart from the we've got the crosses they're called junctions it allows the balls to cross paths so you get three of those with the starter pack. There's those three. And they just, they're also really useful as a straight line if you don't want to put a rail in. 
but you can just have two tracks going through the same spot and then we have the standard curve piece and this has a sort of large curve and a little one and the little one does from this to this and then you can go from there to there so you can make a circle with several of these together sort of like that so you can go around corners and you can go <coughs> you can do sort of s shapes and all sorts like that so you get 21 of those which gives you enough to do some really versatile different tracks and the things just sit in between them and like that if that went better that would have been better so you can just put one like this and one like this and you can have them different heights or the same depending on how much momentum you've always got okay so as i was saying before my camera rudely cut me off you can drop balls down and you can do it onto a slanted rail as well as the catcher and stuff like that so you get two of those with the starter pack so you can build some really complex things for not a lot of sort of outlay financially the starter pack is certainly enough to keep people entertained for hours trust me they've done nothing my husband and my kids have played with it every single day since it came we've had it for about a week and a half and i don't see them stopping playing anytime soon we've got i've got an amazon voucher sent to me for something this week so i've got an extension one of the other expansions that we don't have on the way for James to play with because it was free money basically and we got sent the three expansions that are really fun so I'll talk those through in a minute and we also got so I bought him another starter pack because at the moment it's 39.99 on Amazon and for all this that is such good value the there's a trucks expansion pack and there is a building expansion pack which have a mixture of the sort of things you get in the starter pack and they're 19.99 each and they are really good value as well but at the moment because the starter pack is such a good price on amazon it's slightly better value to buy a second starter pack because you get slightly more pieces so i've done that and i've also bought the tunnel set for him for christmas so if he's watching he's just got spoiled for his christmas present so i'm going to tell him not to watch this and if he does, it's his own fault. So I'm getting him the tunnel for his birthday, which is two days after Christmas. So that's only out in Germany at the moment, but Amazon have it from UK sellers. So I think people have imported it to sell in this country. So I've gotten that one as well. So this is the hammer extension. And how this one works is you run a ball through like this and it hits this and that spins around and shoots the ball off and now it's on my floor there's several gravel tracks pieces on my floor by the end of this video so it just sits like this ball runs into it and it whacks it along so it gives it a bit more oomph it's really good for getting up a slight hill or just pushing it sort of the end the last little bit of the way if you're running on a flat part and your ball's starting to slow down it just gives it a bit more speed and this one is super fun this is the catapult expansion piece and you just pop it together with it's got a little bit of an elastic band a little bit of an elastic band it's got a little elastic band and a ball just rolls into this and that unclips it and it pings it and it goes flying and this is possibly the most frustrating part we have but it is also the most fun because our floor where we've been playing isn't entirely level we're doing on a rug on top of a carpet on top of a slightly uneven floor in the first place so when we've got the kitchen table cleared i think it's just going to become a gravitrax table because the carpet is it's a lot of fun to sit on the floor and play with it but it's not entirely level so the the catapult isn't very sort of reliable <laughs> because entirely because of our carpet if you have it in the same place exactly all the time it goes in the same place but because things are being nudged and things it doesn't always go where you expect it to when the ball gets flung 
but it is a lot of fun and we have built some really successful complicated tracks with the catapult in and one of them even worked first time so it is great fun and the expansions are not very expensive and they do add a little bit more fun and they let you keep your ball going for a little bit longer as well quite a few of them so yeah that's everything we've got some of these expansions come with a few track pieces as well so the um the catapult comes with four silver balls which just weigh it down because if it didn't have them it sort of pings out of place and trust me i know because james forgot to put the balls in yesterday and then the magnetic cannon comes with three balls which is enough to sort of give it because you have to have two or three balls sat in it so that lets you play with it without using up too many of your balls that you already have and then this one comes with six more rails so you get three of the small rails two of the medium and one large so they all come with either marbles or track pieces which make it a bit even better value so yeah that is everything that we have the catapult comes with spare elastic bands too i should say so that is all of our gravel trucks and we have been playing with it loads and the kids love it and james loves it and obviously i think it's good enough because i've bought more and i can't say any better recommendation than that because I've bought the exact same starter set again so that we can have twice as much because and that's not because it's not big enough it's because my husband is a marble run addict and he just wants to make bigger and bigger and bigger things and he's already used the app that you can get to design a track that he can't make with his current components because he's used too many pieces but that's not to say you can't build some incredible sets because you can. The starter pack is enough to build some amazing tracks that have balls going in all different directions. I think I built one that used every single marble we had. And in fact, it used even one more than we had. So I had to hold the catapult still with my finger a bit. And I will put in some clips of us playing with them. But the other thing that I wanted to say quickly was there is an app for it as well. Everything is better with an app, let's face it. So this is the Gravitrax app and you can design your own tracks and you can also build a load of the tracks that they have examples of. Some of them match the same as the book and you have this manual and it talks you through each step as you build it and then you can even test your tracks so if you're designing one in the app you can test your tracks and there's a tutorial for the app as well and you can also let's see you can go ball view and you can even do fancy things like this And that track that it's showing you on that example, that is a starter set track. You don't need any extra components than you get in the starter set to build that one. So yeah, I think this is definitely this year's top Christmas trip toy. Certainly in this house it is. Um, James is already getting really possessive of it and not wanting the kids to play with it when he's not there, which is hilarious. So... Um, it's really sturdy, the plastic's really good quality, nothing's going to snap, nothing's... I think the only thing that's in danger of bending is this if you don't look after it and pack it away properly. Say if you stood on it or something. But so far we've been really, really happy with everything. It's so inventive, it's so creative. There's science to think about. You've got to think about how much you need to keep your ball rolling, what slopes you need. You've got to think about 
five steps ahead while you're building your own track and the app really helps you to develop your own tracks as well it's a lot faster to design a track on the app and then rebuild it in real life than it is to build one yourself because that took me hours the first time I made a really really complicated one but saying that both ways are really fun so I do recommend doing both the pieces are really really versatile and there's youtube videos on the ravensburger or gravitrax channel that show you different trick shots you can do and there's just so much you can do with the starter set i think it is amazing value and the expansions just make it a little bit more fun and keep your ball going even longer so yeah i definitely recommend this anybody who likes Marble runs, this is the best marble run I think I have ever seen and I've seen ones that you build with Lego, I see ones you build with the plastic bits, we've got, we used to have one of the ones on the little tracks and we got rid of it because we were getting gravel tracks and I think this is just so great, it's brilliant for puzzle solving a little bit and it's brilliant for just thinking sort of three-dimensionally and it is a lot of fun so yeah I really really recommend Gravitrax and any kids or adults like my husband that enjoy this sort of thing it is a winner it's an absolute winner so yeah enjoy our little clips of us playing I'll put those now and I'll probably cut this down because I've waffled for so long and uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this review, please do subscribe as we will be doing more video reviews in the future. And yeah, give it a thumbs up or share it if you know anybody that will enjoy Gravitrax. And I'll be doing a big blog post as well. So this will be with that in the links below. So yeah, cheers. Bye. Okay. Now. What is that?